The Easton Red Rovers got no hit earlier this week by Liberty in what was their second straight loss as the challenges continued. Welcoming Parkland, whose only loss of this season was to Quakertown in the beginning of April. Since that loss, it's been three straight wins where the Trojans defeated its opponents by a combined 38 to 6. Their bats would stay hot in Easton yesterday afternoon. For Easton, it was Rowan Galliato getting the start on the bump. Parkland jumping on him early, but only after getting out of a bases loaded jam in the top of the first. In the second is where the contact would come. Dylan Feely singles with a line drive into left. That the first of six hits in the frame. Andrew Klotz then capitalizing with bases loaded and no outs. He singles on a hard grounder to the shortstop. The double scores two back to back sack flies would then give Parkland a four run edge. The assault Walt would continue, landed Benner getting in on the action. He doubles on a deep fly ball to the left fielder. It is 6 nothing. Parkland chasing Galliato out of this one. Zach Mattis taking over, getting the final out to end the inning. Doble walked in that inning, but he'd do more than that in the top of the third. After a wild pitch lifted the Trojans up by seven, Doble singles into center field. He'll advance to second as Klotz comes home to score. Trojans up 8 nothing. The Red Rovers were able to to answer in the bottom half of the third with two Juan Cole Ordway singles into center field, getting one back before Chase Schallenberger finds contact with a bases loaded knock into right field. The Red Rovers would score three in the frame. However, Parkland wasn't quite done on the offensive output. Dylan Feely scoring on a line drive into center field in the top of the fourth. Trojans now up nine to three. In the bottom of the fifth, Easton would close the gap a bit further after Harold Rudd Rodriguez hits a hard grounder to right, scoring two. It's 9-2-5 before both pitchers take over. For Easton, Mattis had six strikeouts, two in the top of the seventh, before Parkland's Noah Traeger earned two of his three strikeouts in the bottom half to secure the win. Parkland used 11 hits to defeat Easton, 9-5 the final. Honestly, coming in, I felt pretty comfortable. Um, I was able to just get in there, throw strikes, get the plays done, especially coming in, bases loaded, trying to just get out of a rough inning. It's a lot of pressure sometimes, but uh, you just got to keep your cool, just get through it, and uh, we did that today. Yeah, you know, all we wanted them to do is throw strikes. If the guys at the ball, congrats to them. But, you know, they did a great job today locating and uh, giving us balls that we can make plays on. Look, as a pitcher, that's the best thing you can have. Um, you're doing your job on the mound. Our hitters are doing their job. It's, it's all, that's all you can ask for. And um, I mean, hey, our guys are guys are going well, and uh, you see everybody's excited. So I'd say it was a good game all around.